We all know about Shopify. You probably know about this platform even if you don't have an e-commerce business. It's an all-in-one e-commerce platform trusted by millions of merchants worldwide. It provides an easy drag-and-drop website builder, but it is also a little bit pricey compared to other platforms. This factor can be crucial if you're just starting your e-commerce business. So in this video, I would like to talk about Shopify alternatives that you should consider for building your online store. For those who are new here, my name is Casey. I run Luck & Co Agency. We are an email and SMS marketing agency that works exclusively with seven and eight figure e-commerce brands. And as you can imagine, we worked with a bunch of different e-commerce platforms. So let's talk about them in more detail. But before we jump in, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Both help me bring more free content for you. And let's start with the first platform on my list, Wix. A well-known website builder, Wix also offers an e-commerce platform that is great for beginners who want to run small stores and especially if you're not so much into tech. It's very easy to build a website thanks to their drag and drop editor. And they offer more e-commerce templates than the rest of the platforms that I'm going to mention in this video. Building a basic website is free on Wix, but you need to pay if you want to access their e-commerce features. So Wix would be a good option if you're just starting an e-commerce business and are not planning to sell many products. You also should try Wix if you're looking for an easy plug and play option and want a good looking store that just works. The basic plan for e-commerce starts at $27 per month as of the time of recording this video. So it's a great choice if you don't have a big budget. Squarespace. Like Wix, Squarespace has drag and drop functionality, which doesn't require a lot of technical skills. And the same way, Squarespace originally was not built for e-commerce. But despite high quality templates that they have, you should only consider using Squarespace if the online store is not your main business. For example, if you need a website for your music band to sell the merch through an online store. Squarespace was made to build beautiful websites and cannot offer many e-commerce features. It has a limited catalog of extensions and a limited payment options for an online store. You can start your small shop with business plan for $23 per month if you pay annually. Another popular e-commerce platform is BigCommerce. BigCommerce is primarily designed for building an online store and specifically for enterprise level companies. BigCommerce has a lot of good built-in features and many options for customization. Also, you don't have to have any coding skills to build your online store. BigCommerce is a very powerful platform, but that also means that it can be kind of complicated and inflexible. For example, it doesn't offer a lot of templates. And even though Editing your website design is easy, it's not as customizable as Wix and Squarespace. Not only that, but BigCommerce surprisingly has fewer integrations than other platforms. Also, with this platform, you should keep in mind their selling limits. They charge additional fees if you go over your sales limit. So the pricing will be based on the annual sales. The cheapest plan you can get is $29.95 monthly, and you can get a 10% discount by signing up for a year upfront. WooCommerce. WooCommerce is a plugin for WordPress, so you build it on your existing WordPress website. WooCommerce is completely free to download and has no initial costs. Keep in mind though that you still have to pay for your WordPress website, but it's relatively inexpensive. And even though the plugin itself is free, the costs do add up quite quickly. You will have to pay for many of the extensions that you're going to want to add to your store. One of WooCommerce's strongest features is how customizable it is. You can change literally any aspect of your site to match your brand or any type of business. Do keep in mind that the more you'll want to customize it, the more complex it will become. In my experience, businesses that use WooCommerce require a professional developer, unlike Wix or Squarespace. It's not a build it yourself type of platform unless you're very tech savvy. Adobe Commerce, formerly Magento. Magento is a powerful platform designed specifically for e-commerce that comes with a steep learning curve. It also comes with virtually every e-commerce feature that you can think of, from live search to complex product recommendations. Magento was founded in 2008 and Adobe acquired it in 2018. Magento is fully customizable, but it's very technically complicated and not so user-friendly at all, so you will need to hire a developer to work with it. You need to leave a request on the website to get the pricing options, which is a clear sign that it's more of an enterprise solution. Big Cartel. 
Bickertel is a popular UK e-commerce platform designed for makers, artists, and crafters, the types of businesses you'd expect to see on Etsy. Bickertel offers customizable templates, domain name registration, and marketing tools, making it easy to make a simple, small store. But it doesn't have enough features for an e-commerce store, nor enough integrations, apps, and features that you would want to scale your business. You can place the first five products for free, and after that, pricing is based on how many products you sell. So it can get pretty costly as your business and product collections grow. You can upload a maximum of 500 products and you will have to do it manually. You cannot automatically import them. The platform also limits the number of pictures per product, even on paid plans. You can only have five images for each of your products, which might be quite limiting. Zyro. Zyro is a fairly new e-commerce platform built specifically for smaller e-commerce stores. It's easy to learn and it's affordably priced, starting at just $3.99 per month. Zyro has a low barrier to entry, both in terms of price and lack of learning curve. You don't have to sell a lot to start and you don't need any programming skills to create a store. Because Zyro is still a relatively new platform, many tools that you'd expect to see on a more mature e-commerce builder are missing. So at the moment, I would say that Zyro is best suited for people who just want to try e-commerce and are still unsure about growing the business and investing in a more expensive platform. So let's draw a conclusion and talk one more time about the pros of each platform. Wix, an extremely customizable platform ideal for small online stores with fewer than 100 products. Squarespace, beautiful designs and the best choice for cornering a niche market. BigCommerce, best all-around e-commerce platform for large volume sellers. WooCommerce, best for adding a shopping cart to an existing WordPress site. Adobe Commerce, formerly Magento, best for businesses with PHP programming experience. Big Cartel, great option for creative people who value simplicity and don't need many advanced features. Zyro, best for beginners and those who just want to try out e-commerce. We've just talked about seven e-commerce platforms that you can use as an alternative to Shopify and compared them based on their pricing, available tools, and features. I hope that this video was helpful for you in choosing a suitable e-commerce platform for your business. I would love to hear which platform is your favorite in the comments. Please drop a comment below and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the videos about e-commerce and email marketing tips. We have a lot of great content coming in the next few weeks, so make sure that you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching until the end, and I will see you in the next one.